This afternoon was somewhat stormy across the wiregrass. Strong winds in excess of 25 to 30 miles per hour was able to knock a few trees down in northern stretches of the wiregrass. But now we are just left with some light to moderate rainfall and this will be with us for the next couple of hours. You can see the three hour time lapse with a lot of moisture flowing in from the southwest and that will continue until the drier air, which is west of I-65, really starts to slide into the area. And once that does move through with the cloud cover will eventually clear out as we head into the overnight hours. So that will help our temperatures to cool off nicely into the 40s by tomorrow morning. But ahead of the storms today, it was on the warm side. Middle to upper 70s to lower 80s for our, our high temperatures, which was in the first part of the day, right around lunchtime. And now conditions are cooling off a bit, but staying on the mild side compared to where they will be for tonight because of the rainfall at the moment, upper 50s to lower 60s for most of our reporting sites. And go through the day tomorrow and for Thursday, a mainly dry pattern will be setting up. We'll have a good supply of sunshine for both afternoons after starting off with a little bit of cloud cover for tomorrow and the rain chance will return for Friday and they will last through the weekend. Unfortunately, a little bit of a change in the forecast, but those chances right now only looking at about 20% for Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. It won't be until next week when a more unsettled pattern will be setting up across the southeast, but not a severe weather threat at the moment, but we expect some afternoon showers and storms for Monday and for Tuesday. So this is the storm system that we are tracking. It's a cold front, an area of low pressure well to the north, bring uh, snowfall to Canada, the Great Lakes and the New England states and rain ahead of it that we were dealing with for today. And this frontal boundary over the Pacific Northwest will be sliding into the southeast and eventually initiating a few of those showers to begin to develop starting on Friday. But until then, high pressure is going to be in control of our weather, giving us a uh, clear sky through most of the day tomorrow, starting off with just a little bit of cloud cover. And then going into early Thursday morning, we could have some thin clouds sliding through the area as some moisture will return from the south. And that will make things feel a little bit more muggy out there. But all in all, it is going to be a dry day on Thursday. It won't be until that frontal boundary from the northwest comes into our area that will have the showers returning. So through 10 o'clock tonight, the steadier rain will be moving off to our southwest. Maybe a few pockets behind that still with us on the radar, but overall going into the overnight hours, it is going to be clearing out. That wind will remain out of the northerly to northwesterly directions, 10 to 15 miles per hour. That will continue through the day tomorrow. So those highs will be a little bit uh, cooler in the afternoon hours, but they will be in the afternoon this time with that clear sky, upper 50s to lower 60s expected for us and then going into Wednesday evening overnight into Thursday it will be cooling off quite a bit. So as far as those temperatures for tonight, there we go. Lower 40s for most of us. A cool night, mainly clear sky once the showers that we have on the radar do begin to clear out. So we'll be with that rain for another couple of hours, just that overnight. That's when things will be improving. So for tomorrow, lower 60s for us here in Dothan, 62 degrees for the afternoon high temperature. A slight warming trend is expected as we do head into the weekend. Lower 70s expected for the warmest day on Saturday with a few isolated showers, maybe a few thunderstorms mixed in there, but most of us will miss out on that rain. But at least Valentine's Day is looking good. Yeah. I'm